a very warm welcome to all viewers uh, and the big IPO, something that was awaited uh, for this year 2022 is now here. So on 4th of May, the issue is going to open and it's going to be on for till May 9th. So in today's session, we are going to talk about uh, whether you should be investing in this issue. What is the LIC? What is the size of LIC? Uh, what What is the future of uh, insurance as a business in India? So, uh, and ultimately, I think we should be able to give you a pretty informed opinion whether uh, you want to be in this uh, issue for the long haul or or what is what should be the game plan uh, when you invest in in LIC as an IPO. Okay, now let's face it that companies like LIC uh, and IPOs that come out, now these are once in a lifetime opportunity. And as an Indian, we all know what LIC is all about. So, so any adult who knows uh, anything about insurance would definitely know about would know about LIC. Maybe we, we have heard it in our from our parents or from our friends or maybe from elders of the household that you should be putting in money in LIC as a savings options or maybe uh, as a life insurance protection plan. So LIC as a corporation has been around for a long time, right? So it's almost uh, 65 years old. And over over the years, I think it was an amalgamation of almost 245 companies when uh, you know uh, when insurance was nationalized in India, and uh, then LIC as a corporation uh, was set up. So over the years, uh, this organization has prospered uh, tremendously as as India has grown, more awareness about uh, insurance uh, has has taken place and. Uh, and in a nutshell, if I have to put it, uh, LIC in India is, is a giant, it's a monolith, right? So, and uh, uh, just to talk about its size, let's let's look at some, some facts. Uh, life insurance providers in India, it is the fifth largest in the world. And in terms of market share, in terms of gross premiums collected, right? So there, there would be millions of people who would be paying premiums and on their life insurance policy. Uh, so out of that entire uh, bank of uh, policies, LIC has a, a whopping lion's share of 60 uh, of 61.6 percent. Now that's huge. So of it, it has a market share in terms of gross uh, premiums that are that are collected of almost 62 percent. Uh, in terms of new business, that is uh, new policies that get issued uh, you know, on a year to year basis, uh, again, it has a uh, has a share of around 61 and half percent. Now, these numbers are from the, DR, the DRHP or what we call as the draft red hearing uh, prospectus. It has 88.8 percent .8 of group policies. Now, what is a group policy? Now, we all work for an organization. Uh, the organization would be buying some, you know, either health policies or life insurance policies for uh, their employees. So uh, LIC has a, has, a, has a vast share of almost around 89% of these, these sort of policies. So basically LIC is into the business of uh, insurance, insurance products, uh, you know, annuity, pension funds. So, and it is, it is also an insurer to the government of India. So uh, government of India would be having its you know, various organizations within uh, the state government or central government, uh, they would be having their uh, something like superannuation funds or maybe pension uh, pension plans for their employees. Now, uh, all these plans, uh, they are most of them, uh, they are with LIC. So, uh, so this is a very steady business that goes on for years and years and decades and decades. And, and I don't think so any private player is going to be able to step into this place uh, at least for a long period of time. So uh, there are basically uh, we have around uh, eight eight product uh, portfolios, eleven group of uh, product portfolios, uh, portfolios. Now LIC is also an insurer to the government. Uh, it's it's also an insurer to the government scheme. So you know you have several of these government schemes like you know Pradhan Mantri Jeevan uh, Jyoti Bima Yojana, where uh, insurance is provided to you know people at at grassroots levels. So LIC is a flag bearer of these schemes also. 
and as uh, as one of the analysts i was just reading something and, and and the statement that is that he made was was uh you know you know quite shocking that uh nearly out of 100 rupees that is saved in india right so for every 100 rupees that is saved 10 rupees goes to lic so 10% of this entire saving uh goes to lic in 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 different forms or whether it is a life insurance policies or you know different types of policies that are there so uh so it's a it's a it's a huge it's a monolith it's a huge, huge organization and the main thing it has a lot of trust uh, of its users uh the and uh, they who have been participating uh, with lic for a very long period of time uh almost 50% right i think probably more than 50% of the entire workforce in the sense you know insurance agents and you know and those intermediate intermediaries they are also affiliated to uh, lic so you will find lic in every nook and corner of the country whether you are uh, in mumbai or maybe tier 1 tier 2 cities or even if you go into the most remotest places in india you will definitely find an lic office over there so it has a pan india reach it's it's huge in size and uh and insurance as a business as we as uh, as we will see uh, as we go along is just on a growth trajectory it's not as if that in- insurance as a sector is saturated in india so uh, just to give you a size of uh, uh, of what uh, uh, the size of aum uh, in this uh, uh, and the size of lic and and the aum that that it has so it has a size of you know the entire mutual fund industry uh, has comparative aum so the size of aum that is asset center management that lic manages is equal to the entire indian mutual fund industry uh and uh, uh, so it has almost more than 3.2 times the total aum of all private life insurers in india so uh, it is almost 15 times bigger than the next nearest competitor so i mean there is absolutely no competition for lic i mean those though i mean the <clears throat> industry as such is growing the private players are also growing so you know there is there is an argument that maybe lic uh, maybe 15 20 years ago had a 100% share of uh, the entire policy premium but now it has dropped down to 60 it is also important to note that the size of the market has also Uh, has has seen a cagr of almost around uh, 12 uh, 11 to 12 percent over last uh, 15 years or, or or so, and recent crucial uh, reports suggest that going forward, uh, the insurance business is likely to have a cagr that is uh, compounded annual growth rate of more than 15 to 16 percent for maybe next five or six years or so, and maybe uh, maybe in beyond also. So, uh, still insurance is is in a nascent stage in India. and a lot of groundwork has to be covered and lic is a flag bearer of uh, of uh, this 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 industry in india so uh, among the competitors there is there is a growing uh, tribe of competitors so you know you have private players like hdfc life and sbi life uh, maybe icic true life now basically we are only talking about uh, life insurance as a product we are not talking about health uh, health insurance or we are not talking about Uh, motor vehicle insurance and you no know, and 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 those category of insurance so lic is, is a pure life insurance player so basically lic is a zero debt company so now uh, now what i was just going through the prospectus and what uh, what struck me was that uh, uh, that till march 2021 uh, lic had a had a huge Uh, reserves and surplus so you know uh, accumulated profits they are uh, they are transferred to reserves and surplus so those people who are not really uh, attuned to accounts accountancy as such now what uh, what lic has done is that they have capitalized this entire uh, this this entire uh, reserves that they had so the share capital has gone up from 100 odd crores to uh, maybe to more than uh, 6000 odd crores and this has been capitalized so new so no new capital has been issued by uh, by lic uh, to its 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 previous promoter so that is the government of india so now because of this huge cash in book uh, it its ability to lend over a uh, over a period of time also goes up and 
and in a rising rate scenario so now interest rates are going up they have been going up the world over uh, uh, possibly probably in june when rbi has its meeting probably next month we should also see a, a slight increase uh, in interest rate so now when uh, so in a rising rate scenario we have this this lic as a corporation which is sitting on huge amounts of cash so again that is that is that is a big cherry uh, for the company because uh, you know it it could uh, it will boost its 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 profit uh, profitability in coming years because it will be able to lend at a higher rate. so that is something in terms of financials uh, and uh, basically it's a zero debt company that is what we uh, that that is what we said and uh, in terms of financials it is it is a profit making company i mean now any insurance company that come that comes into the market even if you see the health of the several insurance players either in in the motor vehicle segment it takes time for you know companies to uh, to become profitable so what we have here is uh, uh, an already existing profitable company uh, which has a huge market share it has a huge brand value uh, and uh, and going forward we have uh, an industry that is likely to grow substantially uh, over a period of time so it's not going to be a uh, 3 4 5 years this insurance as an industry is going to to keep on growing for maybe couple of decades from here so uh, okay so that is something about uh, you know uh, a little bit about financials and uh, and uh, and something on the on on the size of uh, the industry as such Now, should you be investing in in LIC? So, so as we said, that insurance is under penetrated. But uh, there is one more thing about LIC is that LIC is is probably one of the biggest shareholders of listed companies in India. So, as on date, as you know, there was this Russell report. So, almost four percent of the entire market capitalization of National Stock Exchange. is owned by LIC so LIC is is a very very big shareholder in some of the top notch the blue chip companies of india and uh, and the dividend income that it gets now most of this investments they have been they have been made uh, decades ago i mean so i think it would be having a stake of maybe maybe more than 5 6% in something like larsons and and your infosys and you know and, and these sort of companies so uh, so it is one of the largest shareholders in, in india almost 4% of the entire market capitalization of ns of uh, of nse is owned by lic they also have huge dividend income that because of their ownership in uh, in various listed companies so it's a very very uh, steady source of income uh, plus you add to it uh, the capital gains that they have been making over a period of time so capital gains on long term capital gains uh, they would be having so you know after you apply indexation so whenever the shares when whenever they would be selling this old shares that they have been holding it for years uh, uh, the impact of taxation on the profits would be minimal simply because they are they are long term investors uh, in 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 equity markets so uh, so they have a very steady source of income plus uh, they uh they have a very big lion share in in new businesses and existing business in terms of premium uh collected the question is whether you should be investing so now let's let's consider some pros and cons uh, before we go on to the price band and 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 things like that so now now the government of india is divesting only 3.5% of its stake as per the listing rules over a period of time 5 years or so now this government ownership will will have to come down to uh, uh to 25% uh recently there were some some uh, reports in newspapers that the government has uh, has sought a clarification from sebi that they want to reduce this play, uh, this take over a longer period of time because you know uh, so that so now the moot point is that overhang of supply will always remain for a prolonged period of time and we have seen this happening with with several psus where you know government uh, tries to offload its stake uh, through you know bharat etfs and you know other such products so maybe it is quite likely that uh, maybe there could be uh, one 
there could be some disinvestment taking place in in LIC over a period of several years, maybe one one and a half percent or so, because one one and a half percent could also be a huge supply uh, uh, in an individual stock like LIC. So you know there could be some selling pressures, and this could be happening over a prolonged period of time. So that is one of the risk factors that investors need to bear in mind. The monies that will be collected from this IPO, so 21,000 odd crores, that is the size of IPO. Now, this money is not going to LIC as a company. It is going to the promoter, that is the government of India. So, any expansions that LIC will have to do will have to be either from borrowings or it has to be from internal accruals. So, again, that that could be uh, meaning that if if LIC wants to expand its its presence in the country, vast investments. Uh, would uh, may have to be made over a prolonged period of time that could have some negative impact on cash flows. So, uh, two basic very important things overhang hang of supply and uh, investments that uh, would need to be done to expand the businesses. Apart from that, uh, LIC I think remains a very uh, stable uh, and, a, and a very sound bet. Now, let's talk something about growth about what. The, this what the scenario of LIC, of life insurance as a business will be in 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 India. So now, what Crystal uh, forecast is that uh, over next till 20, FI 26E, we are uh, the life insurance is likely to grow by around 14 to 15 percent CAGR as a proportion of GDP. Uh, life insurance is going to be 3.8 percent uh, by FI 2026 as compared to some 3.2 percent now so there is a huge room for growth uh both in terms of new businesses as well as existing businesses just to just to talk about some some latest development that has happened that have happened today in fact i was just going through some of uh, the headlines now the anchor investor portion so uh, anchor investors are you know those sophisticated uh investors who who get uh uh who get an allotment before uh, before the allotment is made to the general public so you know certain amounts of monies they are they are kept aside for anchor investors now this portion has been uh has been fully subscribed as on now so uh so uh, it was just today that uh that this investment for anchor uh investors uh had had commenced and probably by i think by 11 12 o'clock in the morning the entire portion of uh, some 5630 crores has been oversubscribed so there is a lot of buzz from uh, from foreign investors, anchor investors who want to uh, be invested uh, in in LIC as an organization. So just talking about grey market premiums, grey market premium is is, is, a, is a is a premium that is talked about, you know, in in uh, in grey market. So grey market is, is an unofficial market. So that is at, at that around 95. So you should be expecting at least a 15 to uh, 10 to 15 percent uh, listing. Uh, over over the issue price. The moot point whether you you want to be investing, you want to be invested in this issue. I see, I think that you should invest. If you are going to be a long term investor, uh, be prepared for some knee jerk uh, price movements because whenever there is an announcement of government reducing its stake, it is likely that uh, you know there could be some knee jerk reactions. Uh, my perception is that uh, we may not see a super appreciation in the near term. But uh, over a period of time, so LI, uh, so life insurance as a business. So if you look at the way prices have reacted to uh, recent past in in life insurance companies like HDFC Life or ICIC Pro, because of of COVID pandemic, there uh, there has been a huge outflow of <laughs> of claims that they have had to settle. So if COVID died down, a pandemic dies down, and uh, with greater awareness about uh, uh, having safety to one's life, uh, business in, in of LIC uh, is bound to grow. So life insurance as an industry or as a sector in as one of, or one of the small uh, space in the BFSI sector is is on a growth trajectory, and we could be in a takeoff phase where you know it is quite likely that uh, considering the amount of awareness that is taking place. The expected CAGR of maybe 14 to 15 percent, or maybe <coughs> uh, could also get 
you know surpassed so uh, it's a very safe issue uh, and it may not be a speculative issue so you know we may not expect uh, you should not be expecting uh, uh, a mega listing like you know something that happened with uh, nike issue or you know or uh, so or some other uh, issues that were in that got listed way back in 2021 when the equity markets were you know in a in a nice uh, uptrending trajectory so just to paraphrase i think as a long term investor as a mature investor uh, i would recommend that uh, that one should be looking for an investment in lic as a long term objective both to get a recent price appreciation uh, both in terms of uh, price appreciation as well as uh, dividends okay so dear, dear viewers i hope we have made a lot of clarifications on what uh, lic ipo is all about and maybe we have given you some confidence so whether you should be an investor in 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 ipo so wish you a very good luck uh, in terms of allotments so we don't know how uh, how aggressive the allotments are going to be or the number of times the issue will be subscribed but definitely it's a very very safe investment uh, you can just simply apply through uh, espresso platform uh, see to it that the, that your upi id is uh, uh, matches with your bank account and uh, and your espresso account so Uh, it's it's so easy so so make your life simple apply through espresso platform and uh, good luck for the issue investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing